Hey, I'm Doug. Welcome to Backcountry Pilgrim, a channel devoted to hiking, backpacking, camping, and the Camino. If you are into that kind of stuff, why don't you hit that subscribe button, and then we will get started, because today I want to talk to you about hats. I have a fairly light complexion, I burn easily. So one of the things I decided to look into was getting a hiking hat that would protect me from the sun. What I discovered as I did my research was that a lot of people were looking into sun hats that were basically kind of your boonie hat, you know, the wide brim all the way around. Some of them folded up and gave you that cool crocodile Dundee look. But I wanted something that was going to give protection to my neck and ears, and having something with a slightly wider brim just wasn't going to be enough. During that time, I discovered the Sunday Afternoons Ultra adventure hat. It's got a very wide brim, about twice as wide as your typical boonie hat. It's got vents along the top so that the heat is not being contained by the material, which is very lightweight anyway. In addition to the wide brim, in the back it had a fairly substantial neck cape that would cover the parts of you that the brim did not. So as you can see, pretty much full coverage. Now I kind of felt like I looked like a beekeeper or something in this hat, but it did provide a pretty decent amount of shade. Something else that I liked about the Ultra Adventure hat was that the inside brim was fairly dark. It keeps reflected light from the ground from reflecting back into your eyes. It's also got a strap that is adjustable with a little toggle. On the back, it's got a nice little strap adjustment that you can easily do on the fly. So between that and the adjustable rope, you can get this thing pretty secure on your head so that whatever adventure you're having, your hat is gonna stay. It also has this interesting sunglass retention feature where you can actually put the arms of your sunglasses into the hat itself. And then finally, it folds up into a nice, neat little package. This thing only weighed two and a half ounces. And so for quite some time, this was my hiking hat. In fact, if you've been with the channel for a while, you probably saw this on all of my original intros. My one concern with the Ultra Adventure hat was that this was not waterproof. I didn't want something that was gonna soak out on my head and require me to put a hood on, which would effectively kill all of the great lightweight vented features of the hat. Enter the Sunday Afternoon's Ultra Adventure Storm. The Storm is essentially a waterproof version of the Sunday Afternoon's standard Ultra Adventure hat. So when this is on your head, you can actually just stand under a shower water is going to pour off you and your head and your face are not going to get wet. And I'm not going to lie, I appreciated the fact that it had the dark gray color, so it just looked a little cooler than Sunday afternoon's sun hat. What I discovered with the storm though is that it is quite a bit warmer to wear than its standard sun hat version. And that's for two reasons. Number one, in order to keep it waterproof, they had to remove the vents along the top of the hat. And part of what apparently makes the storm waterproof is that the lining that only goes around the headband area in the standard hat completely encompasses the inside of the storm. So what you have with the storm is a potentially better looking, waterproof, but warmer hat. And because part of the point of having a hat like this is to wear it in bright sunlight, this became a little less attractive of an option. A third option that I've picked up recently is the Outdoor Research Sunrunner Cap. This is a standard ball cap shaped hat with good venting along the sides, super lightweight, like the Sunday afternoon hats, runs about two and a half, 2.8 ounces. But attached to the front of the hat is a full three-sided cape. It snaps to the rear of the brim so you can take it off quickly if you don't want it, threads through the sizing band in the back of the hat, and when you put it on, provides you a pretty incredible amount of coverage. And you get kind of a Lawrence of Arabia thing going on with this hat. The panels actually cover the ears completely, and at least on me, cover my neck as well. So for me, this hat provides full coverage of the back of the neck, side of the neck, ears, side of the head, and in a lot of instances, quite a bit of my face. Pretty much unless the sun is blasting right toward me, I'm gonna be protected from it. And this cape is extremely lightweight. I mean, just moving toward the camera, it flops out a little bit. The hat does have a retention strap, and the reason it's attached to the cape is that if you are in the seriously blowing wind and you pull it on, it's gonna keep that cape attached 
where it needs to be to keep you covered from the sun. If it attached to the hat, the cape would just flop up in the air and you might not be getting covered anymore. The toggle on this strap is not very good. <laughs> it doesn't have a tension releaser, it's just a little figure eight. So you want to kind of be careful that you're holding the middle of the strap as you slide it up and down. If you don't, this thing can get all sideways, then you've got to pick it out. As you can see, the hat is highly reflective. It also has the dark interior of the brim so that you're not getting reflected light in your eyes. Now I know that fashion on the trail should not really be a thing, but let's face it, nobody wants to look like a total dork when they're hiking. So I am actually a fan of the Outdoor Research cap. That has really become my new sun hat. However, it is not waterproof. If it's actually raining to the point that a hat is not going to be protective anymore, I'm probably going to have a rain jacket on anyway. As much as I like the idea of a waterproof hat, the fact of the matter is I'm not going to be okay with getting completely soaked as long as my head stays dry. Chances are that if I want to be dry, I'm going to want all of me dry, and that's going to mean putting on a rain jacket, and that's going to have a hood, in which case having a regular hat underneath is really all I need. The difference would be that if you have a rain jacket that doesn't have its own brim on the hood, Pulling the hood up over the hat is going to leave its brim exposed, and if this isn't waterproof, you're going to soak it out. If they're cardboard inside, it can actually kind of ruin them. So in that case, having a waterproof cap is nice. If you're really going for full storm protection, having the waterproof hat and the rain jacket on at the same time is probably the way to go, but of course that's going to be extremely warm. Both the Sunday Afternoon's Ultra Adventure and the Outdoor Research Sunrunner run about $35, whereas the Storm version of the Ultra Adventure hat runs about $55. All right, I hope this has been a helpful comparison for you. I've got links in the description below if you're interested in purchasing any of these hats. Check them out. If this video was helpful to you, I'd love it if you gave it a like, and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are into outdoor gear, camping, hiking, backpacking, etc. That's what Backcountry Pilgrim's all about. Until next time, I'm Doug. Take it easy.